There are some of you watching this today that you're standing at a threshold of new life. You are at a point where you need to begin again. You wonder, how in the world am I going to begin again? How am I going to find the energy that I need? How am I going to know where to go and how to go where I desire to go? In Psalms 26, verse 2, it says this, Prove me, O Lord, and try me. Well, I pray that you can begin again, right where you are, right now, today. All of us want to begin again in some area of our life. We wish that we could have a do-over. We want to change. We want to do better, to be better. Some people resist the idea of beginning again because they think that it means to make some drastic change in their life. And it may mean a separation from the people and the life that they love. Beginning again starts not in uprooting our life, but in uprooting the attitudes and emotions that have bound us to unhappiness and fear and frustration. We can begin again there today. Beginning again starts right where we are with the inner self of us. If it does not, a change of location or a distant place with people that don't know us will not make any difference. We have to change inside of us. We need to begin again inside of us. And when we do, we find that we have a whole new life in every area. So right now, right here, through prayer and faith, we begin again. And we're set free. We're unencumbered by the past. We're alert and aware to new ideas, new ways, and new joys and new opportunities to change and to grow. I pray that as you begin again, in a small way or a large way, that you realize you're not alone in any way, that God is with you, helping you, and will make you successful.